Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about how to add a new user to Office 365 and ultimately add that user to SharePoint. So in order to add a user, you must be in this admin panel in 365. Now, if you're in your team site, the way to navigate back up is if you open the quick launch and click the admin icon, it will then take you to this screen. Now to add a user and or manage users, uh, we can come into this panel here, or we've also got this drop down option here. So if we click active users, we can then see what users we have um, in, in this 365 account. So if we want to add a user, and obviously this currently is outside of um, Active Directory or, or Azure, we're just adding a user into the 365 account. So in this scenario, let's add a test user. Now what you'll notice here is the domain, um, this is currently a domain for this is currently a domain set up by default for this account on Microsoft.com. Uh, if you had the domain name attached to it, you would also be able to select your domain name, so it would be uh, test at yourcompanyname.com.co.uk. Uh, obviously, the location. And then here we get down into um, some more information. Uh, you can populate this, and some of this will go through to. Um, the SharePoint profiles, which can be quite handy. Uh, set a password. Now, uh, obviously, auto generate a password and make this change user change their password when they first sign in. Now, this is an interesting one. Obviously, uh, depending on depending on how your organisation works, will depend on whether you want this checked or not. Whether you want to reforce the user to uh, rechange their password when they first log in, this can be slightly confusing sometimes. The role is quite important here. Uh, you can set users up obviously as, as non-administrators or you can set them up as global administrators which really is uh, all encompassing in terms of its capabilities. Or there's this custom option which allows you then to select a number of these. So if you want someone just to be able to say as an example handle passwords or just handle exchange or only be an administrator here in SharePoint, you would just check these options and and that would deal with um, granular administrative access. Uh, in this scenario, we just want a, a ordinary user. And then obviously here, um, we need to assign a product license. Here, uh, obviously you can only assign product licenses that you have available um, so in this scenario, we're just going to assign this E3 account. Here's an interesting option, uh, create a user without a product license, so without any uh, licenses whatsoever. Now this is very good because one of the things that 365 and SharePoint allows you to do is set it up as an extranet. And what that means is that you can add users without providing them with licenses, so without giving them Skype for Business or without giving them uh, Word uh, or Excel services, but still providing external users access to certain portals, certain collections within uh, your SharePoint deployment, or certain sites where they can access information. Now, that's really powerful um, and something that's quite difficult to achieve uh, on the on premise version. So, that means that you may have external customers that you uh, want to maybe share a site with. Um, and allow them to input some data for you or exchange data, you can do that simply by switching this option on, adding them in as a, a user without a product license. So let's go ahead and create this user. And then what we're going to do is uh, send the um, password and whose email address it will go to. Uh, and that's quite an important step. And then we're going to send that password. 
and as you can see here our first user is set up and the administrator will receive their their password um, you could have sent the password obviously directly to the user um, and then the user will be able to log in and uh, begin their journey and we'll, we'll pick some of that up in the next video thank you very much for watching